So here I'm on the litmus.com website and I signed up for a trial account so that I can show how this software works. So on the next page here we can see it's asking me to build an email from scratch or use existing HTML which is what I'm going to do and then we'll go ahead and take the next step. So here we can see there is an option for a blank email and I'm going to select that but if you wanted to select an existing like email template they have all kinds of them to pick from which can save you a lot of time and you could pick one of these and customize it for whatever your email campaign was going to be. Okay so in this screen you can see I pasted a whole bunch of HTML that's made for formatting email templates and you can see the output of it over here in the right side of the screen. So there's all the nice pictures and formatting and buttons and text laid out and images and so forth. And so it looks great. You can resize it by moving this bar around and see how responsive it is. So that's the idea here to create a new HTML template and then we'll use this litmus to do some testing as we'll see in a moment. So here I clicked on the email previews and it's generating all of them so we can take a quick look at how it looks in all these different email clients. And here it says that I've used 35 previews. I get 500 previews during my trial. And another thing to point out, since this is specially formatted HTML code, you can see that it looks nice in Office 365 products, which you have to have things set up properly, otherwise it won't look good. So here's a whole bunch of other Office and Outlook clients. Then we can scroll down Outlook 2019. Then we get into like the iPad, iPhone, many different iPhones, and you can see Basically, it looks very similar. So here I've clicked into the Yahoo Mail example, and I'll scroll down real quickly, and you can see it looks really nice and formatted as we would expect it to be. And here I'll click the back arrow to go back to another sample, and we can look at how it looks inside of this Outlook client. So it looks really good in there too. So here's a button uh, called Choose Clients. So I'll go ahead and click that. And here you can see there's a, currently a total selection selections of 35 email clients. So we have 10 desktop, 20 mobile, 5 web-based. And if you wanted to select all, you could and check it on other versions of Apple, other versions of IBM, Outlook, and so forth. And then if we look under mobile, there's a lot of other ones we could choose. But since this is a trial account, I'm not going to click on all of them. But I wanted to show the idea how easy it is to basically select, I would say, pretty much every email client or a good sample of all of them across the planet Earth and you can do that all with a couple mouse clicks and then scroll through this window if you selected like say a hundred of them you could see it all in one place here so again a huge time saving tool and very valuable if you're doing email template communication and it is very popular another thing I'll point out is my CSS is in line you can see it all right here in the HTML window. If we click on CSS, you won't see any there because it's it's internal into the HTML file and I wanted to point that out. So here I clicked on the updating previews tab and it's doing some work for us. Here you can see it's rebuilding all the samples for us in a matter of seconds. So next I'll scroll down the previews and QA page. There's a lot of great information here. You can see all of the popular desktop clients that it built for us, popular mobile clients and how it looks in those, popular web-based clients. You can see what this HTML email looks like there. And it goes on, it points out a couple very small errors that will be easy to fix. 
and it's just nice that it does you know do this kind of work for us all with a couple of clicks we can see it passed all the audits and it's just mentioning that I have justified or centered alignment which I'm okay with that screen reader preview and then it shows different links and then it shows what it looks like without images so there's still relevant information there and towards the bottom of the page we have a loading speed so it shows how many images we have the total image size and 4.5 seconds to load it they do mention keeping loading times below two seconds but this was just for a sample video and I really did not try and optimize anything as far as that goes and then it shows how long the size of each image and how long it takes approximately to load them so this could help you optimize your email template and your images to decide which ones are taking the longest to load and then just go ahead and work on those and then rerun this report so again so many great tools in here for building testing QAing your HTML email templates there is a lot more that this litmus tool can do for organizations however I just really wanted to cover how I would use it for building and testing HTML based email messages that you want to build and test and preview here in this tool but again if you're interested you should go check out the litmus.com website which you can see the URL here litmus.com and again I thank you for watching this video and hope you found something useful If you like this channel, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when I post new content.